Okay, we have a question here from Aditya Rana who wants to send data from one SharePoint to one SharePoint list to another SharePoint list based on the toggle that's been selected, toggle or checkbox, uh, either way. So what she's saying over here below is my test list, SharePoint 1 and want to send selected data to the below SharePoint list. So it looks like he has username my title process process so let's try to solve this in a simple way so what we are going to do is we are going to create sample lists uh two sample lists let's just say so the list one is going to be the source list two is going to be the target so new list this is going to be source list i'm just going to add two columns or maybe one i don't want to add some more because the process is going to be same irrespective of how many columns they are going to be so let's just say i'll add one column that's called process and this one let's rename this to username and we are going to create target list this is going to be blank list target list and we are going to have type length process columns in this one add column is going to be single line text again as i said the process is almost going to be the same respect of what type of columns and how many other columns you, you're going to have as long as you have the columns in both source and target i'm just going to go to power apps Okay, now what you're going to say is in the apps, let's create a list user. I guess I have one app already for the power platform community. Let's go to solutions, power community, power. Out. And we are going to use this app to do the demo. Now let's edit a new tab. I've heard many complaints from other people who are new to Power Apps that Power Apps is usually very slow. But that's not really the case because that's how it's been since as far as I know. So yeah, it's not really the case. So we are going to go over here. Let's ignore those others. It's going to be our hour today is nine. And what we are going to do is we are going to add two galleries, one gallery over here, which is going to be our source, and another gallery over here, which is going to be our target, so that we can see live what's happening with our data. I'm going to add SharePoint. And over here, this is like power community, source and target list. I 
those are added now i'm going to add the source on this side target on this side and let's first create some items in the source list before we start this so this is our source list let's add some dummy items a b c d e okay test start and i'm just entering some random stuff here exit grid view this is done i'm just going to refresh the data source to see my list of things over here and what we are going to do is insert a button that's going to transfer from the source to target and let's add some labels to make it look better this is going to be source list and we're just going to the top and we're going to do the same thing over here copy paste obviously you have to rename every single control in your power app it's not every single control it depends but most of the controls i just have them properly named but because this is just a demo i'm not going to do that over here target list now <coughs> i'm just going to say so title only or if you want you can just add multiple um as many as you need the uh, number of controls that needs to be shown and the same thing over here as well and just going to move this back up and then here what we are going to do is we are going to add a checkbox so that's what i'm going to do <clears throat> this checkbox I don't want to label <clears throat> I just want the checkbox itself so this is going to be the width is going to be let's say 50 the height 50 width and I'm going to copy this next arrow's properties and place it right where it is Copy. So this is going to sit right where the next arrow is. We are going to remove the next arrow, and now whenever someone checks this, we need to transfer over to the other side. But the best way to do it is we need to add a column which is called is row or record whatever you want to call it selected don't use is selected that's because there's already a property in every gallery that's called is selected so just use something different like is record selected is something selected like that so the initial value i just set it to true because i just want to reduce my time working with this so initially everything is checked already so we have the default will be this item dot is record selected and whenever someone selects the checkbox what we're going to do is we're going to patch to patch to this one so let's instead of doing it over here let's do it this way uh, on visible we're going to add this to a collection. And the collection name is called source 
two records. Okay. And I'm just going to copy this. Paste. And whenever someone checks the box, and also we don't need this entire thing, so called source records. So the collection to the source. And once the tree screen screen transition happens we have the data over here and whenever something is selected we are just going to say patch called uh, called source records and then this item and what we are going to do is we are going to say is record selected to be self dot value because this is checkbox, the value is always going to be true or false. So if it's selected, true. If it's not selected, false. So that's how it's going to be. And whenever you hit transfer, what we're going to do is for all. For all the called source records. And we're going to do a filter. We're going to say not everything, but everything where is a uh, record selected is equal to true and then we are going to add this to our target so we're just going to say target list because we are going to create not update and use defaults of target list which is like create a blank for the target list and then the data would be uh, title is this record dot title and then process is this record dot process this is how it's going to look like if you have more columns this is going to keep adding for example if you have a um, choice field it's going to be your choice field and then this record dot the choice field so it's you basically don't need to uh, change anything else that's it so let's see if this works if it doesn't we'll see uh, what we need to do on top of it let's let's see first what happens so everything is selected but let's say i only want to transfer the first record i click on transfer the for all happens with the filter and it's going to create the record and it created that one record if you see next time we're going to say bc bde transfer it's going to transfer us and next let's just say i'm going to transfer just a c it does that so yeah hopefully this solved your issue